Yeah, so my backstory that will capture the attention is that, okay, since I was very little, I thought that I could, I don't know, change the world. I thought that I wanted to help a, a grandpa that was in the street. I want to be happy. I thought that uh, I could hear the thoughts of everybody in around my me, myself. Mm -hmm. And I thought that this world was very unjust. So I wanted to, to, for a world of justice, of, of, of less humber, I don't know, uh, less, mm -hmm. less violence, less, less, I don't know, um, ye yelling. It was yeah. so many, uh, it was it's so bad uh, to see so many bad things around. And I thought that I could do something. So I thought that at five years ago, at, at my five years, but after that thought, I started to enter to a system, to a system that if you don't do this, you're not accepted. So yeah. trying to survive, I um, get to an, a, a group of people, of friends, of college, that I try to, 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 I don't know how to say it. I will need to learn about some words. I don't know how to say it. Um, okay. I try to speak. That is, that is good. Yeah. That is good. So your backstory is you're like you are, you come from the from the place when you think that the justice is just something given, but it turns out it's not. No, right? no, no. Yeah. And there's a lot and, of violence, and uh, and you entered the college, so that so at this point you can start talking about your desires. What were your yeah? I wanted to fit desires. I wanted to, I wanted to fit. <laughs> My friends, I wanted to fit. I wanted yeah. to be like seen because I yeah. was something strange around the here, here mm -hmm. that I was trying to to be like I am, but but nobody cared about justice as ten years and fourteen years, and everybody is thinking about like going out with men and doing stuffs, and I was thinking about justice. What is that? So I quit myself to fit in college to fit in friends to be accepted mm -hmm. and i fit in so much that i forgot in myself for 15 years 15 years yeah <laughs> okay what about so okay uh, what about oh, external yeah. desires because these all, most of these yeah. things that you said over here you wanted to fit you wanted to be a part of the team you wanted to be accepted those would, I would categorize those as internal desires. What about external desires? Why would you, why yeah. did you? I wanted to have, I wanted to be seen like having, I don't know, it was, I was young, but I wanted to have a family, kids. I wanted to, mm -hmm. to have a profession. I wanted to study. I wanted to have economic freedom. I wanted, I would, in that moment, in the beginning of my, yeah, I wanted to achieve my dreams. I was like helping the world. But after I, I quit my, my voice, my own voice, my desires were, I don't know, having what everybody was having. Family, mm -hmm. profession, or a job, a good job, a good mm -hmm. position, money. Okay, so that's awesome. So this is pretty, because I, I wanted you to say this because I think this will be a really good connection to, to many students because they would yeah. be pretty much like you. Oh yeah, I also wanted to fit. Oh yeah, I also wanted to be accepted. I also wanted yeah. to be part of a team. I also want kids. I also want money, right? And all these. Yeah. And I want to have all them all these connections. And then maybe at the end of this part, you can actually tell them where you actually went. What, what did you study? Yeah, yeah. When, so I quit my boss for 15 years and afterwards in some moment of my life, I have it all. I have profession, I have family, I have money, I have everything, mm -hmm. but something uh, was, um, I felt empty inside. Although I had everything, I so felt empty. Wall. Yeah. You felt empty. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me more. So in that moment, I started to question myself why I feel empty. If I have it all, I have achieved everything what I have taught to achieve position profession and blah, blah, blah. so what's happening why i'm here and i started a journey of remembering who i was in the beginning of my life mm. and 
the journey, I look for mentees, for programs, for help to, I don't know, to see myself, what, what, which character I have already built, but it wasn't me. It was something I created to fit, to survive, to an uh, environment I lived education, friends, etc. So in that uh, journey of trying to know who I was, I started to ask what I want to live, which life I want to live, who, what I like, because I, 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 uh, I understood that I was doing everything for others. I was studying because others was telling that it was good. I was doing some actions because others told me that I would needed to follow that path. And I didn't know what I wanted, which dream I wanted to live. I didn't know. So I started that journey of asking me questions. What I want, where I want to go. If I have the courage to do that. What I want where I want to go. So this would be, this would, this part will be already your epiphany, right? The moment you start, the moment, the wall was when you hit the moment that you achieved everything you wanted and then you felt empty. You had everything you wanted to achieve and you were empty. And so the epiphany came, that was the moment when you started to ask yourself questions. What do I want? What do I really want? Where do I really want to go? What I want my who life I am. to look like. Who I am. Right? Who I am. Who am I? So these and are in that moment, the questions yeah. that started your epiphany, right? Yeah. You started to ask, by answering those questions, you finally had the epiphany. Oh, what is missing? And what yeah. was missing? Well, right? I, was, I was missing. <laughs> I was missing of the game because I wasn't in my own game of life. I wasn't over there. It was someone else that was created around my life to survive. I wasn't there. So mm -hmm. when I started to make the correct questions, the answers started to appear in front of my own perception. So I know that when you ask yourself the correct questions, the answers was, will be revealed for you because your perception will be focused in that question you have already done for yourself so when i started to do this the questions started to rebuild paths started to open opportunities started to uh create in front of me so i started to get everything so i wanted to i don't know i asked my question for example oh i have just had kids i have two little kids so mm -hmm. i have just had was born my kids, so I, oh my God, I don't have the empowerment to be a mother. I don't have the tools to be a mother. And I started to ask myself, what do I need to learn to be a good mother? And in that night, I received an email. Do you want to have tools to receive to be a good mother? So each question I make to myself was an answer in front of my computer, my cell phone, a pe people, someone, a certification, a program. So start, I started to study. And I started to study and I certificated myself in five, I did five certifications, listening to what I wanted to do. So you pretty much just become self-learner, right? Yeah. A lifelong learner. <laughs> yeah. uh, and your plan was pretty much just that, right? Was keep, following keep what I wanted. Questions, right? And find the answers by learning by yeah. discovering them in the the online world and then basically people around them because somebody there is definitely somebody out there who has the answer for your question yeah so that would be the plan we're at the plan okay what about the conflict yeah well the conflict is was when, when i was trying okay and doing and learning i was okay i will let my family know what i'm doing what i it's happening inside of me my friends my family because for them i was just the girl that was um in silence for 15 years so okay i will go and uh, tell my family and i when i went to tell my husband my family i remember all all the um the rejection I felt in all my life before. 
okay? I, mm -hmm. I remember why they, the people didn't as, accept me as I was uh, in this, like, following, helping the world, following my voice. I remember because I have bullying in, 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 in school, so I remember the bullying I have for being like, uh, like I'm I. So I started to remember the pain that means to be me. Mm. And to go and have the courage to go and tell the world I'm me. Oh my God, it's pain because I have, I didn't fit like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you experienced that actually before, right? When you were younger, before you actually yeah. went into this, this educational funnel, right? When you yeah. lost yourself for a while. So you already, ex you already uh, experienced that conflict before and then later on when you when you decided to reconnect with yourself right then you still probably have the same thing like the doubts of the family are you sure this is the way are you going to be able to support yourself are you going to be able to do this and that and that yeah. it's 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 a risky the risky path right and all that yeah so those and in that moment yeah. yeah in that moment i was like okay i have two ways i have two paths mm -hmm. i go to encourage myself and i go to the world and tell everybody this is me or i keep doing what i have been doing all my life like live the life i learned to live but i'm not happy about it and i'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm empty mm -hmm. so i choose the first one so i get to the world and i tell all the world hi this is me and i told my husband my family and i was very encouraged i was like very very brave about doing that because i quit my job i did whatever i wanted to do like create my own position of my own company and i create my programs and i go to the world and sold it and here i am <laughs> so that that's already a part of achievement right so you created yeah created the company, the program, uh, the company, the program, you shared your uh, true you with the world, right? And everything changed because I was so afraid, but because I will be me, everything will go badly. So when I encouraged myself and I was brave enough, to make the step and take action, move and tell the world, this is me. Everything changed. My relationship changed for better. My empowerment of maternity was improving incredible. I, my, my, I don't know, to create my own job. It was like, oh my God, I never thought that I could create a job for myself that what I love to do. And I did it. And in less than a year, I have achieved many, many people. So it was like the achievements was the full transformation of each area of my life. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the last part, right? The transformation yeah. that yeah. you you achieved this. You were you were able to share your true self, start the company, create your program, and then that affected your relationship, your your happiness, right? Yes, and I find the fullness that I was looking for all my life. Mm, fulfillment fulfillment yeah awesome yeah we got that so this is the story filled in within the within the script